life. All right, Hifumi, let's freaking do it, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay, hold on. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call, I gotta like go through their intro in my head to see if I can do their voice. As the ultimate fanfic creator, I don't think I'll find many kindred spirits here. Mm -hmm. Educating the commoners is part of my duty. His voice changed a lot, and still is changing frequently. <laughs> oh, at least we're not doing women. I can't do women voices today. Hmm, Mr. Nyagi. Mr. Nyagi! <laughs> I don't, what does he even do? Let's try today's special soup. That's not s Is that soup? I thought that was tea in-game. Do women? No, I respect them. I respect the women. This is the point where if Priscilla is still watching the stream, she puts it on in the background. <laughs> and just kind of lets us- I mean, she probably already had it on in the background. But this is the point where she really puts it on in the background. Like, she tries to not dodge it magnificently. It was a bomb! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. That's all. Do, 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 do. What do you got, Hifumi? <laughs> There's a number of things to unpack here. The first of which being Mekon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, I respect women. Um, obligatory Matt quote here. Oh, I did it myself. Don't you worry. for waiting. Uh, should I take off my clothes for being late? Listen. There's no need for that. Can you take a look at him? <laughs> oh no, he fooled me. What happened? What is her voice? I don't even remember. You look so pale. Oh, very sad. I'm not sick or anything. It's just crunch time and I've been pulling all-nighters. Not possible. Sounds like he's only had snacks and soda for some time. I also love that he's taking care of everybody. I love that. That's what he did in the anime, and it's what he's doing now. What? Hmm. He's able to eat a magnificent amount, but such a diet will be the end of him. If this is truly an important battle, there are meals far better suited to it. Well, even if you think you're fine, your, your immune system and organs may be weakening. It may affect the quality of your sleep and how your brain functions. Damnation! Even so, I've got to meet my deadline. There's no way I could miss my release date. Mm, there's no way I'd be in the slump. <sighs> there's no way. Yes. Don't overwork yourself. If you continue on this, is the doctor have to stop you? Let me say this. Yeah, they do have to clarify. I don't know. Maybe you just played V3, and you're like, who the frick are all these characters? Indeed, if you collapse from overworking yourself, then it will be all for naught. First, get yourself back in good health, for your reader's sake as well as your own. Um, in order for your brain to function properly, you need lots of sleep and nutrition. Um, you definitely need your brain in good shape to draw good fancy comics, right? I do not remember her voice. I just know it was obnoxiously high. Alright. Oh, very sad. It's no use. My head's empty. Can't even think of a good protest. You win. I'll go to sleep on time tonight and I'll eat a proper meal in the dining hall. Please do it every day from now on. However. Oh, the two of you were so in sync it was like being lectured by a single person. Hmm. I've had Mekon help one of our friends who was in a similar situation as you. The cannon. I love it. Mm. Uh, I guess there are a lot of people out there who force themselves. All artists have that kind of problem. I love the reference. I love the DR3 love. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because they don't acknowledge it. Except for like a brief, oh yeah, that thing existed. There's some reports festival. You want to finish your manuscript ASAP. You have to do a three legged race. Who should you ask to be your partner? Pick, pick for me. I don't care. Pick for me. Did I buy the button? No, I didn't. I forgot about that one. I didn't buy that. 
I'll buy that before the next time we do this. Who does Ikumi want to hang out with? Hero, you got it. Mm -hmm. We have to do this together. Don't slow me down. Bye. I don't even have to use my fortune telling, though. We don't have much of a chance. <laughs> It'll work out. Don't worry about the quickness of our feet, but rather the sinking of our breath. We need to move in sync, like telepathy. Like we're piloting a Jaeger. <laughs> but then both of our legs might give out. Why did I make that reference? For serious. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I was worried about tying our legs together. Well, whatever, let's try. You didn't tie your legs together well enough and the string came out during the race. Cool. Cool story, bro. Alright, let's just plow through this real quick. Get out of my way. What is happening? You gave me a thing. Great. Thank you for the four move card. I don't care. I'm not gonna use four move because why would I want to move four when I could move six? Or five. Hello, Shuichi. How about you solve the mystery of why I don't have any friends because I'm Hikumi. And I don't shower. Oh, I want to see an interaction between him and Mew so bad. You don't understand. I've just thought of this, and I want it. <laughs> oh, goodbye, my voice. <clears throat> <laughs> At last, the two most powerful ultimates have gathered together. What is his voice? I am Hikori Yamada. It's a little bit more nasally than I'm letting it be, I think. Actually, At last, we've been plainly in the same place a bunch of times. I've seen you in a number of cons before. We did also do this one with Samugi. Is always next to the wall, and there's always a long line, so you're easy to find. Ah, uh, my stream is dying. Why is it dying? Please don't die. Oh, oh Miss Shirogane, you go to fanfic conventions too. Yeah. Well, I sometimes cosplay at my friends' booths to help them sell their fanfics. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Then this conversation will go quicker than I thought. Uh -huh. Oh, I get it. Next, we're going to say. Please be the cosplay sales girl at my booth. <laughs> Please be the cosplay sales girl at my booth. <laughs> uh, now that we've done that classy gag, what do you think? We'll work well together, huh? <laughs> Ugh, combining your fan base and mine would be huge, Miss Shirogane. Mm. The ultimate fanfic creator and the ultimate cosplayer would certainly be a powerful combo. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'd be a big bang impact. Hey. Are we back? Can you hear me? Can you see me? We back? We back? Word. Yeah, sometimes the stream just hates me? I don't know why. You should have said the but I refuse line. <clears throat> you mentioned my fan base there, right? We're back to the worst interactions. I feel like two ultimates together would stand out too much. People would say it's a stunt. Hmm. Well, I mean, there are some cosplayers who do stuff like that, you know? Yes, but the most important thing for a cosplayer is to dress as characters you love. So it would seem. That's exactly right! Even in fanfic, we treat our source material with love. Right, right? Even though fanfic creators and cosplayers are different, we agree on that. Yes, indeed. Well said. Though our jobs are different, we're meant to stand side by side after all. So you'll be the cosplay sales girl in my booth after all, right, Michirogane? I have to decline. How very sad. Great. What an interaction that was to kill the stream, am I right? What an interaction that was. Let's move large. That's who we are. We're a large. Look at me stopping on this square. We've done it. World is our fanfic oyster. Bye, Junko. It's actually Junko. Interesting. Okay. Oh, good. These two are interacting. That's what we want. I got a five move. I could just get another event, but like, eh. I want to try to spread them out so I'm not just getting the same events all in one round and then having to plow through these. Although I could just cancel. I've just thought of this. Well, no, because there is the seasonal ones that I still want to get. 
didn't see Doggo's purple crate, so maybe he isn't staying overnight. I hope so, man. I hope so, Priscilla. That dog does not deserve to be in your house. You do not. You should not have to be putting up with this. Give me the talent fragments, because I don't care. Ferris Nian? No. No Ferris Nian. Me too. You should not have to put up with that. Sure, just roll. Blue! I leveled up. Alright! Got it? So Hello, phone, hello. Phone, phone, hello. Bro, that's a good point. That's a good point, Priscilla. Who's on my team for this? Me, Leon, Jihiro, Sayaka. Mmm, I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, Jihiro's way good. We won. Cool. Good job, everyone. So long. Farewell. Uh, let's do the talent course, shall we? Or should we just do a friendship course? Let's just do a friendship course, you know? Let's just make some friends, shall we? That's really why we're here. Large move, go! I got a four. Cool. Look at my baby boy, I love him. You're here, I love you. Sure. Waiting for Ryan's trademark Ibuki statement that he always makes when Ibuki is on screen. Ibuki, there it is. That's the one. I don't know if I if I forced oh. that. This is a trio. This is a yeah. Hello, hello. to encounter the supreme overlord of ice in such a place. Someone is with as much power as you to be among common humans. What are you plotting? I love that he's into this, actually. This makes sense. What is it? Huh? What happened, <laughs> Accuse me of such a thing. Your understanding truly that shallow. How could you, the Alpha and the Omega, not understand? <laughs> You will die. The dining hall that wears the mask of the mundane is where they work their dark arts. What's the matter? What? Hey, what on earth are you talking about? Hey. He doesn't understand, even though he's the closest to the realm of 2D of all of us. This too. A soulless vessel is something. easily filled with hatred. Wards are needed for the electric spirit. I thought he was a lost cause, but now the sealed cyber beast bears its fangs at us. Wait a minute, you're giving me a backstory without my permission, aren't you? <laughs> without permission, you say? That is simply not true. I hear it. The voice of the electronic beast that slumbers within that steel vessel. This version of me sounds awesome, actually. Do I have hidden functions and a rough pass? <laughs> Oh, you wish to know? Do you want to hear the backstory of the strongest robot? Fine. You may hold the reins of power only after you've faced yourself. You are a powerful foe, but defeating you now would be boring. I will awaken your true self. Why? What? Am I a villain in this backstory? Maybe spend some time workshopping Kibo's backstory. <laughs> I think this is how D&D goes. Not 100% sure. Don't want to speak on behalf of them, but... Oh, look. Look who it is. Come on. Give her a little... Give her a little... Give her a little... Mwah! Okay. Is that a ship? Do you like that ship? I skipped through it too quickly. I wanted to get hit by the bookshelf. That's what I wanted to do. Give me a five. Thank you.
I ran into Taka. I got a friendly square. You got it. Did I do this one? Ghost riding cola really is the best. It's like I live for this one can. Um... You look like you're having fun, Hifumi. Did something good happen? <laughs> Excellent question. New release I'm taking the comic. Okay, yeah, I do remember this. In other words, my new fanfic comic. I, I finished my manuscript for it early this morning. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I see. Is that so? Congratulations. Did you get any sleep? It looks like you worked hard. <laughs> well, I didn't work that hard. Except I totally did. Of course I'd work hard on it. A great number of my loyal fans eagerly await it. <laughs> Flumi, you make so many people happy with your comics. Mm. People happy. Mm -hmm. Is something the matter? If you're going through a tough time, I can recommend some anime songs to cheer you up. I do not remember that line. You know? Hey, hey Fumi, um... Would you be happy if you could talk to people inside the stream? Oh yeah, yeah, we did this. We did this. Miss Fujisaki, I never expected to hear something like that from someone like you. I mean, of course it would make me happy. It's only Taku's dream to talk with Chibi. But I think that my monitor was in the way, or wished I could jump into the Chibi. Huh? So monitors just get in the way. You know? Well, well, I'm working on my naked so you don't even need to look at a monitor. Hmm? Well, I mean, I'm not look at the screen even though my grinding's right there. Why? I need to be sad. I don't really see where you're going with this. Ah. Sorry, I didn't explain enough. What I wanted to say is, I'm making an AI program that can be installed into computers and cell phones to help users. Mm. The reason why I said you might not even need to look at a monitor is because I will make it so the users will be able to use their voices, which is their voice. Mm. So that's it. It's certainly the conversation with someone in the screen. You're right. Yes, it thinks and speaks like a person, too. You can think of it as your partner. It wouldn't just help with work and life, but it'd be fun to talk to an AI with emotions. I haven't reached that stage yet, but I hope one day it'll become available to people. Hmm. The AI characters you see in sci-fi, hmm. they're always popular and appealing. Well, it's hard to say without seeing it for myself, but it seems like people would enjoy it. <laughs> oh yes, thank you. I'm going to work hard to create something that can make people happy. When I do complete it, I want you to try talking to it. Uh -huh. Well then, I would look forward to that day. Of Chikiro. Love, 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 love. Baby boy. I will never not love. The, the, the way that you respond whenever Yuki is on screen, Ryan, is how I respond when Chihiro is on screen. It's just That's just what it is. Just how it works. I've not seen, like, any Kirumi mm -hmm. interactions in this mode at all. I've just realized this. Well, hello, ah. Miss Yumeno. Point in hand. Point in hat suits you well. I accidentally clicked through it. Oh, you understand the greatness of my hat. Isn't it perfect for a mage like me? I don't remember her voice. <laughs> Indeed, it lets me know your character at a glance. It's stereotypical, but still excellent. As far as magical girl hats go, though, it's not that cute. But I guess that's appealing to Hifumi. You stay away from. You stay away from. You stay away from Himiko. What are you? Saying? I don't really get what you're saying, but I think you're mistaken. I'm a mage. Is that the voice? <laughs> that is an important magical item. I can take doves out of it and stuff. Mm. Doves, huh? You don't really see those as magical girl mascots that often. Everyone knows doves are just symbol of peace. They're just not very magical girly. Okay. I'm not a magical girl. I'm a mage. <laughs> Though it's true that I'm cute. Sure, I'll give you that. Give her the head pat. She is cute. Hmm. How stubborn. Hmm. If you're not if you're going to be a magical hmm. character, why not be a magical girl? No. Because I'm not a magical girl. I'm just an ordinary girl who can use magic. This probably is his last event, honestly. Oh. I don't know if you're too committed to your act or you're just being stubborn. Perhaps you're, you're pretty pathetic, Miss Yumeno. Cut it out. I don't want to be told that by you. Amen. I'm guessing it is, but we're about to find out, because we're guaranteed to get one on the next run, so... See what we get. Hi, Soda. How are you doing? And, yep, that's it. Oh, well, we're done with Hifumi. Um, there are seasonal ones, and I still want to do those, but... What's here already? What do you do? Interested in 2D as well? I don't think you'll find what you want here. If you're here to tease, I must ask you to leave. I feel like this is probably like Kokichi or something. Um, this might be a little bit- this might be Mew, honestly. 
I don't know what this one would be. Who should I pick? What should I pick? What should I pick? What should I pick? Tell me. What do I do? What do I do? I might just RNG it. If someone suggests one, then I'll do it. But if not, I'm just gonna two. This girl said two. Yes, sir. Yep. This is V3, Tommy Timberlake. How you doing? This is the post-game mode, known as the ultimate talent development plan, in which you see interactions as if they all lived together in the school. It is a wonderful, wholesome mode, and it's all I have left in this game to do. Welcome to the stream. If you haven't experienced this, this is a great introduction to it. Get interactions like this. Hey, oh, he Mini, I'm here to play. I cannot do her voice, I apologize. Hmm? I really wish you weren't. I came because I heard you had fanfic comics, but there's no BL. Where are all the adorable boys? Two is by far the best. I agree. I like Dangaropa 2 a lot better than V3. Um, I do enjoy this post-game mode a lot. This is pretty dang good. Why would you think I'd be carrying something like that? Well, I specialize in adorable boys, and whatever you specialize in, I own. <clears throat> B was Taro Taro, and T's was Mew. Dang it! I missed the Mew interaction. Gosh darn it. Therefore, you must be able to draw them the type of adorable boys I prefer. How very sad. You can't force me to. Uttering the occasional complaint. Oh, darn it. It was like the worst one. We picked the worst one. That's okay. I'm going to go read these on the wiki later. I do find these entertaining. Give me a four. Great. But yeah, how you doing, Tommy? How you doing? How's your life going? How's the world treating you? It's very late for me, but... I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do heroes. Because we love us some talent development plan. I'm stuck in this eternal loop of talking to monocubs right now. Which is not what we want to do with our lives, but... It's fine. I definitely do like this, um... <laughs> what the hell is this mode? <laughs> so let me explain this to you. So this is Ultimate Talent Development Plan. Um, it is a mode that you- have you beaten V3? Have you completed V3? Why is it a board game? Lots of good questions. Have you beaten V3? I'm assuming you have if you're on this. Um, if you haven't, do not scroll through streams of V3. I'm assuming you've beaten it. After you beat Danganronpa V3, you unlock a mode known as the Ultimate Talent Development Plan. In said mode, you can gain cards as of all the characters in the series. One, two, and three. Um, all the characters being all 16 of the students in every game, as well as Monokuma, Monami, Usami. Um, this is, I, I would just like to say this is very aesthetically pleasing. I just want to throw that out there. Um, Usami, Monami, Izuru uh, Kamakura is a character that has a thing. Um... <clears throat> Other people have things. Point is, in this mode, you go through and it's to prepare you for like an RPG type mode that they also have. I don't like the RPG mode that much. It's kind of fun. I do kind of like it, but I'm not in love with it. Um, it basically, you you level up and you get stats and you have interactions with characters that help your stats increase for the RPG mode. Um, it's fine and dandy, but um. I don't care about the RPG mode, because there are special squares on the maps that are purple squares, or pink squares, and they have little interactions between characters, and those interactions will level up your stats, but it's interactions with characters from all three games, as if they were in school, going to school together. I love it. I love it. You get to see how these characters interact with each other outside of the games, outside of the killing games. It is lovely, and it is a very wholesome mode lovely mode, and um, I actually have a checklist that I will show, because I'm very proud of it. I actually made a checklist of every character that you can gain in this mode, and uh, the check marks are the ones that I've already completed, and I'm eventually going to complete all of them, because I love seeing their little interactions. Um, this one's wrong, it should not be Gundam, it should be Soda. Yeah, there's that. So yeah, Genocide Jack has her own character. Monokuma and Junko and Mukuro are all their own characters. Usami and Monami are their same, are different characters, which I don't understand at all. Um, it's very fun. I enjoy it quite a bit. 
is what's going on. Hopefully that's a sufficient explanation. I don't know. I'm not good at explaining things, but hopefully that, that cleared it up for you. I recommend at least checking it out on your own time if you if you like the game and you like the characters. It's cool. That's not a Mukuro sprite for Junko. I will zoom in, Ryan. I will zoom in and show you that it is not a Mukuro sprite for Junko. Who's the best girl for me? Okay, hot take. Uh, Sayaka. The literal first death of the entire series. Sayaka Maisono is my favorite. She's the number one. Love her. Love her. Um, also, top five would be... Top five would be first Sayaka, then probably Chiaki, then Chisa from the anime, um, and then Tanko from V3, and then, uh, Ka, what's her name? What's her name? I forgot her name. Why did I forget her name? Um, Maru, Makoto's sister. But yeah, I love me some Sayaka. Love me some Sayaka. I respect all waifus as good waifus, but... I do love me some Sayaka, my Zono. And everyone else hates on her. I hate it. It's the worst. It sucks. Hello, Sonya! Oh, good heavens. I have to remember Sonya's voice at some point. I give her an accent, Ryan? I give Sonya an accent? I don't like giving her an accent anymore. It bothers me when people do that, but I'm pretty sure I did that in my first playthrough. The only character you hate is Himiko. I'm also of the hot take that I absolutely hate um, Kokichi. I think Kokichi is a garbage character, and everyone loves him, and I... Uh... My least favorite is Teru Teru, but... All right, um, I'll go home and prepare for the Grail War. I, I need I need to see what this one is. I need to see what this is. I need to. Can we all agree that I need to see what this is? Can everyone support this decision? Prepare for the Grail War. <laughs> Do we all support this decision? I'm doing this. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. You found out who it is. I kind of like not knowing who it is, to be honest. I kind of like just playing it blind, seeing who we get. Tell me afterwards, because I am curious, but I'm going to go with it. Are you okay? Gosh, freaking darn it. Why? 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 What was that? Something happened. What happened? What happened? Something happened. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, Tommy. Hi. Thanks, man. Oh. Shit. Ah, you look a little paler. Are you, are you losing sleep working on your manuscript, said Subogi. Thank you for the follow. Those were Angie and Chigana. Oh, okay, well, neither one of those is super amazing. Ah, Miss Shirogane, you are correct. Nothing gets past you. Oh. There are plenty of cosplayers who stay up all night working on their outfits before a con. Uh, this is the worst girl. I'd just like to throw this out there. This is the worst girl of the entire series. Um, if you like Samugi, you're wrong. <laughs> no, Samugi's fine from a attractiveness perspective. As a character, she sucks. <laughs> Cliche advice, but make sure you eat and sleep enough so you can make it to the end. Mm -hmm. Plain as a bagel, yep. I appreciate your advice, my 2D loving comrade. I am planning on some early. Mm -hmm. Of after a good rest, I plan on starting my next project. What? Already? Isn't that too ambitious? Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of time. In the past three years, my idea book has gotten thick. Just like you, it's a movie. I am planning on creating more completely original work. I don't know why I'm so entertained by getting close to the mic. It just, it makes me the, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> oh my, an original work? That's amazing. Let me read it when it's done. Of course, I'm planning on creating a futuristic anime movie and game. <laughs> you will probably want to cosplay it. I'll be sure to lend you the material. What confidence! It'll be exciting to experience the moment a new fictional world is born. It sounds so impressive. I'll be looking forward to it. Part ways with Samugi after just wasting my time talking to her because Samugi is just the worst. She's just the worst. She's the worst. Um, Kirumi, I feel that you and Kifumi should have an interaction, and by should I mean should not. But very well could, and it could very well be weird. What do you mean four? Four already happened, Ryan. What do you mean 54? Come on, man. 
Wait, no, even in-game it's not a thing anymore, huh? Even in-game we killed the person who created the series. That was fun. Are we done? Why'd you give me a card when we're done? If we're done, why would you give me a card? Um, no, I let my chat pick and someone said... Someone, uh, Dirt Squirrel asked for Hifumi out of morbid curiosity, and I was just like, okay, cool. Oh, we're gonna do Hero after this. We're gonna do Yasuhiro Hagakure. Akuma, die. Sayaka, you've killed Sayaka. You've killed Sayaka. We must revolt. Gentlemen, we must revolt. They've killed the best girl. <laughs> Destroy them. Destroy them. The crit. That thing's dead. We must destroy them. They've destroyed the best girl. Yasu Hiro? That's Danny. Yeah, that's Danny. Yup. I actually won. That's incredible. I never won that last one. What'd you say? Another. Oh, hot damn. Hmm? Uh, mm, come the frick? Excuse me? Excuse me? You wanna talk about it? Do you wanna talk about this, sir? Do you wanna talk about this? <laughs> yeah, but I don't care. I don't care about the RPG mode, I just like the interactions. Might be though. No, actually, my best so far is Chihiro. Not Chihiro. My best is Samugi, which I'm very ashamed of. Samugi is like level 37 or something. Well, so. Then we graduate and we're all like, congrats. My book has gotten thicker, my power is leveled up. Now my legend begins. And thus, Hifumi Yamada graduated from Hope Speak Academy. And God bless it, he is not around. No, Samugi's actually my best, unironically. And then Chihiro's probably the next best. Okay, is it time for Yasuhiro? Unless you have a preference, Tommy, if you want to see someone. Um, I think we decided on Hero because Hero won't kill my throat. But. <laughs> if you have a straw. Look at this precious bean! I love. I, lo I love. I love. I love. I love. Also, this. I love. Just these three in a row are really good. These, these four in a row are. Re ah, okay, you ruined it. These four in a row are really good. That's true, you did make a deal with me. You did say. You did say I wouldn't do Kaide if I did Hero. So we will do Hero. Because I haven't seen any Hero interactions. I haven't seen any of them. You know? Alright. I'm Yasuhiro Agakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. I, I gotta remember his voice. <laughs> Let's do the Weed Smoker Man. Ultimate Clairvoyant has a nice ring to it. I'll definitely store some cash. That's good enough. That'll be good enough for a hero voice. I need a hero! I'm old enough for a hero to the end of the night. And he's gotta be tall, and he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta waste cash. On fake stuff? Like any of the girls in one? That's fair. I pass out. I will have fun with Urchin Head. Thanks for popping in. Thanks for being here, George Squirrel. I love you, boo. Have a good night. I'm gonna stream tomorrow, probably Mario Galaxy. Cause gosh darn, I love that game. So, 10 a.m. my time, whatever time that is for you. <clears throat> yeah, the, the one girls are not the strongest. I do love Owie. I love Owie. But I do love um. The girls nice. Sayaka's good. Kyoko's a babe. Um, that's about all she has going for her personality. She's kind of... But, um... I think... I, honestly, I think 3 has the strongest waifu potential. But I think 2 just has the best cast overall. In my opinion. I'll do some fortune telling. Oh, it's Kaide, a business rival. You there, you want me to read your fortune? Um, I want to do business rival. Celeste's... Mm, do a business rival. 
this okay? Is anyone opposed to this? He was a baby. He was absolutely... I freaking love you. Um, just as far as, like, outfit and, like, face goes, I think you is probably my favorite. Um, my girlfriend is also, like, half watching a stream, so I apologize for her. As far as personality goes, Sayaka is my favorite. Because she's basic AF, and I love basic girls. I love them. This is not what I wanted out of my day. Oh well, if it isn't hero, perfect timing. You know what you've been wishing for, it's okay to tell me you want it, you know. For the sports festival, I'll give you a meal that'll lift you up and won't weigh you down. The other one is Izuru? Oh gosh, okay. We're serious. So you make lunch for us, Terra Terra. Understand. <laughs> well, at catering, I'm uh, pretty popular today. Expanding little minx has been keeping me busy. Uh, um... Well, yeah, it's lunchtime. Pair's lunch was a huge hit, but no one came down their fortune red. Rest in peace, my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, lovely. Let's do, let's do a large move, why not? I you know, I just want to finish this round. I don't care if I get too many events. I'm gonna get to the end of the thing. Large move. Hello, Kyoko. Mwah. Alright, large move. We're done. We made it through. Rain. Look at me go. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care, I just want cool, fun interactions with my classmates. That's all I'm here for. Hello, Taka. Mwah. You like how large his 8-bit sprite? He is pretty thick, not gonna lie. His hair extends it a bit. Oh no, oh no. I have not enjoyed a single one of these so far. Hero, there is a question I would ask you. Yo. What is his name? How does his voice go? <laughs> What's up, Cory? Well, I have wondered for some time. What format do you use for your fortune telling? That's the voice. There it is. I am Kureki Shinguji. Humanity is beautiful. That's the voice. There it is. <laughs> oh, fortune telling is a single umbrella term. There are any ways to go about it. Don't call him that, I don't like that. One might time a future with palms, birthdays, or tools such as cards, yes. Hmm. Oh, Cory, you know your stuff. But my fortune telling is different from all those. It's an inspirational style. What is this? Welcome to Ultimate Talent Development Plan, Cuttlefish. Uh, I'm, I don't want to explain it again. Ryan, can you explain it for her? <laughs> Long story short, it's a what-if scenario where you just go to school. And you level up characters in preparation for an RPG mode. We don't care about the RPG mode, we just like these interactions. The end. Nice. Inspiration, also known as revelation, flashes or one's sixth sense. It's not like some occult mystery. I don't want my fortune telling in with the occult, you got it. It's not Rose. Don't don't say that. My predictions are on the mark more than pretty much anyone else's. Actually. Why are you asking all about all that? You want your fortune read? I'll give you a discount. I cannot do his voice anymore. I was merely curious what style of fortune telling has been acknowledged as ultimate. The occult is bullcrap! Don't be mean! That's my favorite. That's my favorite hero line. I like, don't be mean, and I also like, I'm at least 30% right. You see. Many styles of fortune telling have long historical roots stretching back generations. But they are all of great interest to me as an anthropologist. Could it be? Hmm, so in other words, you want to know more about my fortune telling, huh, Cory? Well, I would not mind if you interpreted it that way. Well? I suggest you start by actually having your fortune told by me. Seeing it done for yourself is the best way to learn about it, right? I see, yes. Indeed, I know your fortunes are expensive, but it may be to my benefit to experience one. <laughs> He 
did not make that voice line in the first game. Everyone, he did not. That was not, he did not go, Whoa! I can't even do it. That was amazing. He did not make that line. Yeah, you get it, Corey. Because of that, I'll give you a bonus story. No charge. I have a bad feeling about this, but I shall listen. Well? I've got these power stones here. They almost have as much energy as the crystal ball I use. Hmm. It's not like some occult mystery. Normally they're crazy expensive. If you buy them through me, they're just 5,000, 500,000 yen. I do not recall them ever asking me what Anomalous Aris was, but sure. I see. Actually, I bet someone like you could draw out their true power. No problem, Cory. Listen. I like Hero. When you say Cory, you are referring to me, correct? Yo. Well, duh. Correct, Yo, is kind of a mouthful, you know? I guess my name's the same, though, huh? Yes. Well, I normally tell those who have trouble with my name to call me Yo. Do not mind Cory, either. Please refer to me as that whenever you wish. You know? Oh, sure thing. Leave it to me. Well, then. Very good. In that case, I shall see you later, Hero. Yo. See ya, Cory. Huh? Oh, wait, Cory, what about the Power Stones? Pardon did not pay off. <laughs> um, also, if you haven't noticed, Tommy, I'm very easily entertained by things. And, um, this mode is, like, my heaven. It's so entertaining for me, and I, I just don't know why I love it so much, but I do. Oh, let's run into this character. Oh, she's good. Yeah, success cards are really good. I forgot about them. I level up. <sighs> yes, I gotta do the little mini game now. Decline the explanation. That was a really long free time event too. And that was the first one I got, right? Really long. Me, Hina, Celeste, and Makoto. What a team. What a team that is, let me tell ya. <laughs> They're both so dumb. Hina did like 15 damage and everyone did like one or two. Look at her, she's knocking these things out on her own and we're all just like, uh, two damage. Uh, I'm gonna do three damage. Uh, <laughs> these four best friends, didn't I know? Oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't know. <clears throat> I didn't think that one through. All right, let's get more interactions, guys. Let's get more interactions, because those are the best. I just love the interactions. They're really fun. Uh, large move. Give me fragments, give me fragments, give me all of the fragments. Large move, go. Darn it. They gave me a present. You remember the visual novel until you pass out? Night all night. Uh, you can use your emotes. That would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Callfish, thanks for popping in. Um, oh yeah, no, I figured that out super easy. I figured out one one zero three seven super easy. I was mad too, because it was like my favorite girl, and I love her, and then she was just dead, and I was so mad. Um, I was ready to like throw. I was ready to throw hands at Leon, man. But like in retrospect, they both were just as equally guilty and innocent as each other, like man. You know what I'm saying? I have a whole thing. I have a whole lore. I think I actually might have made a command about it, about Sayaka. I don't remember if I made a Sayaka command, but I think I might have. <sighs> this is a this is trouble right here. No, okay, listen. A okay, minor rant incoming. Minor, I know you're kind of kidding with me, but minor rant incoming. Every single character in this game betrayed someone for their murder, right? Mondo betrayed Chihiro, right? Celeste betrayed Hifumi's trust, right? Lied to him. Um, you know, like, Terra Terra betrayed everyone's trust, kind of. Um, Every single character betrayed some form of trust, right? Every single character played someone, set someone up every single time. But we don't get mad at Peko for setting up Himika, or for setting up Hyoko, because whatever, you know, who cares? It's just another, it's just the plot, it's just what you have to do, right? We don't get mad at 
Kokichi for setting up Gonta for actually being the killer because of whatever. It's just the plot, you know? We don't get mad that, that, that Celeste played Hifumi because, oh, Hifumi's just an idiot. The only thing that we get rid of, the only thing that we judge Sayaka for more than the other characters is because she set up the player character, which I think is a really interesting thing to get into in the first chapter of the game. So it's fine. Everyone set up somebody, but you feel more betrayed by Sayaka because she betrays you, the player character. Everyone else betrays other people, so you don't think twice about it. But they're all just as rude. The end. Here's my rant. I'm done. I'm done. I'm moving on. Why are they just standing here not saying anything? Oh, man. Man, running an evil secret organization is tough work. Let me tell you, shut up. Hey. Okiji, cut that out already. Nobody here is going to fall for such an obvious lie. Come on. I don't even acknowledge him. Can't you tell how pointless it is to talk to him? Why are you guys being so mean? Especially you, hero. You're the meanest. Don't be mean. Why me? Because, because you still don't believe I'm a supreme leader. I have lots of shady connections. You know those debt collectors you're always running from? They actually work for me. <laughs> Please. Oh, why, why didn't you say that sooner? Tell me all about your organization. Let's be pals. Hmm. Kishi, enjoy messing with hero. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much fun. I love Hero. For serious. Hey, does an organization want to hire me as a contract fortune teller? Act now and I'll throw in a Biakia who isn't Biakia. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, no, I think she's a really good um I, I think she's a really good starter character. She's a really good tutorial character, both in letting you know the mechanics of the game, as well as letting you know that people will die and they will be sad. Um like, I respect how they wrote her in the story, given that they didn't want to write her in the story. Um, I respect what they did with her, and I respect that she did lie to you, and she did trick you, and I think that's a smart way to introduce the game, is that you can't trust anybody. I just think she gets proportionately more hate than anyone else in the series, when really she shouldn't. She has literally the least screen time out of anyone in the series. Like, come on, you know? Bundle me in a set without permission. Oh, hey, don't bundle me in a set without permission. Oh, I'll definitely hire Byakuya, but just him. Don't be mean. What? But that wouldn't help me. Help me. Byakuya, who is a Byakuya? I don't care if I gotta be your assistant. Let's join him. Come on, please. Think of it as saving me from the scary guys. Come on. Ah, oh, come to your senses already. Okay, Bondi doesn't count. It's the anime. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. No, Priscilla, no. No, 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 no. That's the worst plan, because you'll annoy everyone on the floor. But we're not- I don't support this plan, Priscilla. You'll annoy your entire room and everyone on the floor. Besides, I refuse to be Kokichi's underling. I am destined to stand above all others. Uh, um... Byakuya, who isn't Byakuya? You're really committed to your Byakuya act, huh? Yeah. Man, I really want to hire Byakuya. I don't like it when other people lie. Okay, well that was an interaction. I'm just trying to help you not annoy your entire floor and make enemies. What I'm here for. Couldn't get through the enemy. Honestly, it gets shot down too hard, I think. I think the ending is bad, but the rest of the anime, if you watch the sub, is actually pretty good. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed um, the future arc. I really liked it. Arc of the anime. For serious. I'm gonna meet my quota this month. I gotta get some more sales. Koto said no. Some people from other classes who might go for it are hmm. Azuichi, Smoogi, Mikon, and maybe Ryoma. I smell the set of evil. Stop, you reptilian degenerate. <laughs> uh, Tenko, wh what are you doing here? Just as I males. thought. Degenerate males are evil to their very souls. I. What is her voice? Tenko Chabashira. Uh, yeah! Yeah, I've seen the dubs. I've seen them. I love them. They're so funny. This hero of justice will never stop fighting until this world, the whole world is peaceful for girls. I'm fine with that, because that is my duty. The hero of justice shall defeat you, evildoer. Uh, hero of justice? What are you, little kid or something? What? Well, what's up with that reaction? Once again, degenerates. They don't appreciate heroes of justice. They don't appreciate that they were born from women. And they think that being a bad boy or evil is cool. I'll never forgive them. What the heck? I'm not doing anything bad. The thing I'm selling this time will make those who buy it and everyone around them 
and super happy. It's an amazing charm. You're the worst of the worst. You're obviously suspicious. You're not a sin anymore, even when your whole existence is a sin. I, I am surprised how much you dislike Kimiko. I think Kimiko had really good character development, honestly. I think Kimiko had really good character development and was kind of entertaining, but... I mean, to each their own. I'm not gonna judge anyone for liking someone or hating someone. Hero! A mother, a sister, a grandmother, or a daughter? Well, he's gonna, let me tell you, he's got a mother. Let me tell you that, he's got a mother. Uh, <laughs> Until the hero of justice arrives, you must appreciate all the great girls in your life. Please. I don't really get it, but give me a break. Save me, Mom! Like, I'll admit, she's not the best. She's not the strongest character, because her defining character trait at the beginning of the game is just... I'm lazy. And, like, her attitude is a little bit annoying, but, like... Eh, she's not the worst. I don't think there's much worse characters. Leon? Leon's a terrible character. It's no character development. They just said, hey, let's screw this guy, let's just kill him. You know? Hey, you're the ultimate Yakuza, right? Huh? Huh? Yeah, so what? You know? I just thought you were pretty amazing. You look like that, but you're a Yakuza. Hey, bastard. What do you mean, look like that? Say it, depending on your answer. Maybe I'll let you choose which ocean I drown you in. <laughs> I, I was just saying that a guy dressed up in a snazzy suit like yours has got to be a Yakuza. Actually, you're, you're really handsome. You've got a martial artist body and a detective's brain. Even among all the ultimates gathered at Hope Speak Academy, your talent is supreme. What are you saying? What the hell is this all about? Creepy. For serious? Normally I charge $1,000 for two hours, but I'll read your fortune for a mere 800 an unprecedented discount, but me and you are friends, so it's okay. Hey, bastard. That's when we're re-friends. Don't fuck with me! Actually, all this is real fishy. Be a scheme and cough it up. You know? Well, of course my scheme is to flatter you, so you'll help me. Huh? That's a sprite that I don't remember, but I'm sure he did many, many times. For serious? A lot of stuff happened, and now I'm being chased by some scary guys. But if I got help from the nation's biggest Yakuza gang, then I'd be safe. <laughs> I told you everything! This must be the interrogation power of the ultimate Yakuza! Jeez. Are you stupid or something? Yes, yes he is. That is his defining character trait, is just being stupid. And that is literally what Hero is here for. Okay, wait, let me text my girl back! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, give me 30 seconds. Uh... One. Bull. Yes, that is literally all that he does, is just scam people. I think we're probably out of events pretty soon here. I think we maybe have one more. Yo, oh, yo, good. Yo. Okay. Alright. This is gonna be something else. Oh, hey, Angie. Thanks for coming. Listen carefully, because today I've got a business plan that'll be perfect for you. Huh? Huh? Business plan? Oh, me, oh, my. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Two says to spit it out already. It's not like some occult mystery. He said, instead of just saying, Alright, listen up! This business plan is perfect. You don't even need to do anything different for it. You just gotta keep doing your creative stuff and listening to a duo like normal. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then... Actually, all I want you to do is do your prayers and stuff at the dojo. Uh, dojo me, huh? You mean where Pinko and Pinko are always training? Well, yeah, that's the place. I want to record your prayers and sell CDs of them. Do that, you'll get more followers and I'll get more cash. I see, I see. That sounds simple enough. That would make us both happy. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Cause Atua says yes, me. yes, Atua praises you, hero. I kind of agree with that, actually. V3, the problem with V3 is they're all so just so extremes at that point that, like, I don't, I don't know. It just feels forced a little bit. Like, Kota is just absurdly good, and Kimiko is just absurdly lazy, and Tango is absurdly man-hating, and, and Angie is absurdly religious, and, like, Kikichi is absurdly lying, and it's just, everyone's just such extremes that it doesn't lend to a lot of character development because they're just already maxed out of wherever they're at. 
you know? A few characters have a little bit of depth. Like, Ryoma has some depth to him, and I really like him. Hirumi is the Prime Minister of Japan, which is a thing. Um, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Like, I agree with that, you know? I agree with that a lot. Maki has some depth. Kaito has some depth. Chuichi has some good depth. Chuichi's actually my favorite protagonist. I will give him that, but... Yeah, I agree with that assessment. Putting the word of a tour to the masses is very you good. Know. So, does that mean we're good? No. Of course not, because Atua says I can't do that. Why? I thought Atua was on board! My idea? No, Atua just said it's good that you're always thinking so much. Huh? Really? I know. You have a lot of responsibilities, head, and people who don't take you seriously. And yet you still work hard as ever. Atua knows. What? Uh, I see. Atua sees right through me. It'll be okay. Atua sees all. Atua watches over you. Like a beautiful mother of infinite patience. Yo, thanks for joining the Discord, my man. Whoa. Welcome to the Discord. Uh, two is so helpful. Yeah. You wanna pray? Yo. I will. I'm so grateful to Atua. Two of you prayed to it did great. Cool. All right, we are almost done with round two. By almost done, I mean not at all. But we're probably running out of special things here, so. We're probably running out of special boy moments. There it is. We're out of special boy moments, so now there's just one more event one. And then we're all done. Give me the special boy points. Oh, there's two more of these. Gotcha, gotcha. A mark, uh, a customer. What do you do? You look like you need your fortune told. I don't think you need your fortune told. Oh, tough customer. I'm gonna say this one. How Dang rude! It. it seems unwise to say something like that with an earshot of your intended target. Hey, come on. Uh oh, did I say that out loud? Well, I mean, it's just that I've never told a robot's future before. <laughs> well, obviously you haven't. I think it will be difficult. I'm often told that I'm incompatible with the supernatural. It's not like some occult mystery. Hey, my fortune telling isn't some supernatural occult thing. My apologies. Oh, I I'm sorry. How careless of me. For serious. Anyway, I don't pick and choose my customers. As long as they pay, they were Antar and Mew. I keep missing Mew. Gosh darn it. Mew had the best line of all time in the demo when she called Yasuhiro Hagakure a spiky headed dildo. That was the best Mew insult of the entire game. The entire series. That is the best line. I missed a new interaction. That's fine. I'll go read it on my own time. Well then. Hero, you're not robophobic at all. How much does your fortune telling cost? Well? 100,000 yen. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm sorry, but that price is too steep for me. I'll have to come back some other time. Gosh darn it. Hero, you're not gonna make money if you're charging everyone the max. I'm just. Oh, look who it is! Uh, well, I can't reach her. I can't reach her, Ryan. <clears throat> oh, I don't have an option. I want to get hit by the bookshelf, dang it. Is that too much to ask? It's... Ibuki Miyota. <laughs> I want to see these two interact so bad. I've just realized that. I want to see Hiyoko. I had like one Hiyoko interaction this entire game. I had like one Hiyoko. I don't think I've had any Kirumi. Um, I hadn't seen any Yasuhiro ones. I've seen like a few Byakuya. Who else haven't I seen interact at all? I haven't seen any Hajime ones. I'm gonna think of it. There's a lot of characters that I haven't seen interactions with. Barely made it here, I would have done it. I'm trying to think who else we haven't seen much with. I haven't seen much with Gonta either, actually. I've seen a few, but not a lot. It's weird how they kind of overlap the characters that we've been doing. Have you seen a really boogie one? No! No, I don't think we have. That'll be fun. 
I haven't seen any Makoto ones either. Nagito best. Nagito is my second favorite character. He's my third favorite character. It goes Chihiro, Byakuya, and then Nagito. Um, but Nagito is a great character. He's a garbage person, and I love to hate him. I love hating him. But, um, pretty funny. He's a pretty great character. I'm so excited to do Nagito's. That's one I'm looking forward to. I imagine he has a couple with Makoto that are just hilarious. At this point, we're just trying to get through because I don't care. We have one more interaction and then the stream will be the dead. It'll be the done. That's Muse Underwear. I just want everyone to know that's Muse Underwear. We just won Muse Underwear from a vending machine. Congratulations. It's always Muse. Sticky hands. Uh huh. Huh? Is that from the dub? Is that a, is that a, uh, abridged version of the dub? I think I have. I'm gonna think of it. I think I have. I hate it, but I think I have. Muse Underwear is a hard item to get. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a real dub? I thought that was like an abridged thing. That's the real dub. I love it. They left so much weird stuff in there. They're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was dead. The final line is pretty great, too. That dub was, that dub was a train wreck. Oh, good heavens, that dub. Hello, Chiaki. Mwah! The honestly, honestly, it's something else. Look at all my red talent fragments. I think I'm not a red type character. Good thing I'm a green character. Alright, we got one more right here. What do we got? Hard worker, best customers, hey you. Hmm. Best customers, I feel like, is gonna be someone like... Uh, believes in that kind of stuff. I don't know if I want to pick this one. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. I want to know who his best customer is. Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright, I'm down for this. I'm down for this. How should I put this? Well, see anything. This country I should visit, things I should look into, any fortune like that. Uh, um... I, I did see something, but it's kind of hard to describe. Something bad. You got it all wrong. No, not at all. I mean, I can't guarantee that it's something bad, but Rumi and Hina and Izuru again? Okay. According to the spirits, I saw you crying, and you were saying someone's name. Are you serious? Crying? Me? Dude, Rancharo's great. I love doing his voice. It feels so. I feel cool when I do his voice. Actually. Yeah, I could hardly believe it. I wonder what could possibly make you cry. It's true. No, I don't cry often. But if I ever were to cry in front of someone, it might be because my wish had just come true. Oh, that must mean the future I saw was a good one. I'm sure. That's probably it. That's what I want to believe. <laughs> I must be relieved because my fortunes are correct 30% of the time. 30% <laughs> hope is great. I'll take it. Thanks. I feel a lot better, hero. Yo. I'm glad, Rantaro. I hope it turns out the way you want. You know? Maybe that'll be a hundred thousand yet. 
did a good job. Good job, Hero. Good job, Hero. I'm gonna try to get all ones. Can we not finish this course? That's the power play. And I finished it. Right. Cool. Right. Okay. Yeah. I received a zero move card. <laughs> hey, Hero. Do you like stats? Well, you don't get them. <laughs> nah, it's about 30% if you take into account everything you probably prophesize that doesn't come true. I think we just don't see a lot of the ones that don't come true. Look at all my red fragments. I have so many. No thanks. Time to lose. Time to lose. Let's lose, everybody. So that is a little bit of a little bit of a, a little bit a little, 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 little bit of a preview of what Ultimate Talent Development Plan looks like. Tommy, I think I'm gonna try to throw at least one or two of these in every Friday, every week, not every Friday necessarily, because so the stream the stream schedule since you are kind of new around here. Uh, Wednesdays I have Weeb Wednesday where I'm currently playing through Steins Gate, which is finally about to get interesting. Um, not that it wasn't fun before, because I do love me some anime tropes, but I think it's about to get pretty interesting, so I'm down for that. Um, yeah, Yasuhiro graduated. Baba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I mean... I'm finally graduating, but I'm still dead. But at least I'm the ultimate clairvoyant. I've got a shot now. They say, they say success is a guarantee in life if you graduate from this game. He's millions of dollars in debt. Is it a guarantee? Is it? Is it? Anyways, yeah, I'm playing through Steins Gate on Wednesdays currently. Um, and then Fridays is casual Friday. We do whatever we want. Saturday is speedrunning. I am going to be speedrunning Mario Galaxy tomorrow. 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific. 12 noon Eastern. So that's the thing that's going to be happening. Yeah, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here and uh i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow bye bye you have work you have no work so you should be there don't help me stay sane and not scream at a game because i was doing that a lot last week so <laughs> fine fine, fine. good night